Shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Ha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in their Ruel today. A salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry. And the believers that scatter worldwide in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. Um, once again, I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Maintenance Branch. And right before I get into this lesson, this message or this or this message or these videos goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites okay today and also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations that may take on the physical appearance or look of another nation but if your bloodline goes back to Negro Latino or Native American descent by the seed of your father you're considered an Israelite as well Shalom uh, so basically I'm just gonna get into you know quick news and um, prophecy you know, whereas I'm going to touch on a couple of, you know, headlines of, of current events that's um, in the news, okay, which is off this website, End Time uh, Headlines, okay. And that's what exactly what times we'll be coming into, the end time of uh, the rulership of the biblical Edomites, which are the so-called white race, starting with these elites, okay, on down to the average so-called uh, Edomite, man, okay, in particular here in America. Okay, because we on the verge of this place, America, collapsing and um, about to go into tour more, civil unrest, okay, of civil war, okay, it's going to be um, the Third World War, okay, as these nations ready to go to war, and that's going to lead to the coming of the, the destruction of America, by the way, of thermonuclear fire, okay, by missiles at the peak of the Third World War. And also in the coming of who the world called Christ, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, okay, second coming, his um, return. By the way, uh, what the world called UFOs, which are known as the chariots or the vehicles of the angels, okay? And Yahweh Shai is only coming back to deliver a remnant, okay, of the nation of Israel, which will consider the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. But prior to that, Okay, as I may mention, we come into the downfall of America at this place about to witness a financial crash. Okay, the, the coming of martial law. Okay, the coming of, you know, pestilence, uh, civil war. Okay, the implementation of the RFID microchip, which is known as the mark of the beast in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, and the reason why the Lord bringing great judgment, okay, to America, not only to the, you know, because it's going to be worldwide, you know, the Lord visiting the earth. But in particular, this place, America, man, is going to get it the worst, man. Okay? So I'm going to read a couple of these headlines, and that's going to be the, you know, the lesson. Now I'm going to get some scriptures, and I'll pray that the lesson be edifying. So I'm going to start off with the first one, as you can see. And it says, uh, text messages reveal that local SWAT sniper saw Trump rally gunmen nearly two hours before the assassination attempt. And you know that, you know, if if you ain't, uh, you know, oblivious to what's going on, okay, what happened, you know, a couple of weeks ago, going on two weeks, the whole incident with Trump being shot at, okay, uh, when it came to an attempt, uh, att assassination attempt, okay, you know, he got, you know, supposedly got hit, uh, grazed, the bullet grazed his ear, and now, now all of a sudden, you know, um, when it comes to this whole presidential campaign, you know, Trump deemed and looked to be the savior for America, okay? You got these, you know, the right wings, you know, Trump supporters, the Proud Boys, okay? You know, individuals, okay, they're uplifting, you know, Trump to be the, you know, the, uh, which is, was a former president, but being the next president to come, okay? After, you know, Biden, uh, minister, uh, minister, uh, what, uh, administration okay has been always been a failure okay like trump administration wasn't a, a failing okay it just ain't was bad as um biden but now recently you had biden you know stepping down 
from the presidential campaign for the elections. And he endorsed um, Kamala Harris, the, the run. Okay, so you, that, you got that madness going on. Okay, for the Democrats. Okay. And, you know, um, <clears throat> now, you know, you got our people. Okay, thinking that, you know, it's a chance to see the first, a so-called first black woman president. Okay, well, she's not even a so-called Negro, man. Okay, she's a heathen. Okay, she's uh, East Indian descent. Okay, which make her uh, Elamite. Okay, or Elam. Okay, which is a heathen, man. Okay, but you got our people supporting, you know, her, her campaign. Okay, you just recently had people raise over there near about what? Two hundred million dollars for her campaign run, okay, and she don't have no interest for you so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Americans, especially you so-called Black women, okay. So I'm gonna go on to the next one, you know. So there's a lot of you know, you know, you know. We know a lot of these things are staged and orchestrated by the powers that be, and this whole Trump situation just another. Um, incident that you know that took place okay to keep the people distracted and 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 the lord showing more and more that he about to bring this place down man so let's go to the next one and it says three men sentenced for plans to strike power grid in northwest u.s okay so you got that going on man they already talking about possible blackouts and emp attacks and you know so you know when they bring certain you know, you know, cyber attacks happening, okay, that affecting certain um, businesses, okay, that, you know, that that goes by, you know, the internet or, you know, when it comes to the towers, okay, so, you know, they can set up people such as, talking about three men, okay, plan to, to strike the, the power grid, okay, that could cause a, a, a blackout and say that they can be the reason why it happened. Okay, so once again, man, you saw coming with those agenda, those stage events, false flags. Okay, because we know eventually they, they have an agenda, okay, to um, the cause of a possible EMP attack, okay, and come with a reset, okay, and all ties into that MOTB, okay. They're already setting up smart cities, 15 minute cities, or safe zones. Okay, that operate around that, that's going to operate around, you know, more of uh, surveillance and biometrics. And the MOTB is going to turn it on. Uh, the MOTB is going to play a role in all that, man. Okay, so let's go to the next one. And it says, uh, update, terrifying, final minutes, gospel group en endure, gospel group endure before they die. And plane crash is revealed by av avitation expert okay so i guess you had a plane crash that took place where you had this got this, this gospel group okay being you know killed okay which the lord you how about you i ain't dealing with no christianity all these churches okay and lately you know as you know uh known for you know if you following uh elder apostle gabar always been going into lately about these plane crashes that a lot of these airlines, okay, are being sued or lawsuits being put against them, okay, due to the manufacturing, the dismanufacturing of these certain planes, man, okay, that now all of a sudden falling out of the sky, okay, then you got these train derailments, okay, that all of a sudden now, you know, trains crashing, okay, and so once again, man, prophecy, this says, um, Israeli drones hit southern Lebanon as tensions mount over Golan Heights attack. Okay, so you know you see you know about the uh, the skirmishes that's going on over there, that war between Israel and Palestine and over there in Gaza. Okay, that they doing these you know missiles attack and and you know air strikes. Okay, <clears throat> which all leading into the time of the coming of the Third World War. Okay. It says, uh, Turkey's president said his country could enter Israel to help Palestine. Okay, they, so Turkey. Hey, Turkey is supposed to be a member of, uh, is, is one of the members of NATO. Okay, but we know according to prophecy, Ezekiel chapter 38. Okay, 
that they're going to be part of joining into the, the Gog or Magog, okay, or Gog, okay, which is known as the Russians today, that they're going to join an alliance with Russia when it comes to the military force, okay, as they're going to lead on uh, NATO, okay, and Turkey is one of the um, biggest and strongest military that's a part of NATO, okay, but eventually they're going to uh, help aid into the war siding with uh, Russia, okay, according to Ezekiel chapter 38, man, okay, and so you're seeing prophecy being fulfilled, man, okay, and you know, Turkey more, too, also, like, a, you know, they religion more like um, Islam, okay, you got a lot of, you know, Arabs over there, okay, you got Edomites over there as well, okay, going back to the, uh, the Ottoman Turk Empire, okay, which it was a mixture of, mixture of Edomites and Arabs, okay, that, you know, took over Turkey, okay, after the, you know, the, the, the downfall, downfall of the Moors, okay, which was our people, okay, in particular, so-called Negroes, okay, during the time of the Dark Ages, man, okay, so, um, that's news, let's get this, and it says, Venezuela is on the break, the brink of civil war, okay, you know, the turmoil that was taking place, you know, for years now, okay, this whole incident with Venezuela, economy falling, they going through um, famine, okay, now they talking about civil war, and they been at war, man, okay, let's see, and it says, growing number of, um, growing number of young women in their 20s and 30s are getting per, getting per, um, permanent, permanently sterilized in order to make absolute sure they would not get pregnant. And so this shows you know, nothing up but wickedness, man. Okay? Because the whole purpose for a, a woman, okay, to give birth, okay, for a man, okay, when it comes to the seed of man, and for nations to um, be um, prosper, okay? Hey, but, you know, this society is so wicked that these women want to be so much whores and, you know, want to sleep with every man or you know when it comes to the point that they ain't even want to get pregnant okay they you know want to you know they'll take the chance of sleeping with men multiple men okay but they don't want to uh take the chance of getting pregnant okay and so this is another way of depopulation man and that and this government okay especially in america is for that man okay when it comes to the uh you know we are, we like to say the 187s when it comes to the you know the the the, the, the babies and all that, man, okay? Because you got to be careful what you say due to the algorithm of YouTube and they'll strike your video, okay? But let's show you where we at, man, okay? That these women don't even want to be mothers or women, okay? That they don't even want to um, carry seed no more, okay? They just want to be whores, man, okay? And worry about themselves being independent, okay? Feminists, okay? Worrying about their careers, okay? But this place about to go down, man. And when all hell break loose, then they're going to be want to look for a man, okay? Especially when it comes to uh, a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, when it comes to an Israelite man, okay? Starting with the, uh, the elect, okay? But when all hell break loose, man, that's it, man, for you women. that we starting to see now, okay, you women starting to catch hell, man, as this, as this society crumble. Okay, let's go to this, this madness right here. And it says, perish, perish. Paris, Olympus, drag queen, torch barrier has message for critics. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, they were to see that the pride, man. Okay, of these people. Okay, especially the that the whole the whole nasty agenda. Okay, it is it's very known here in America, okay, pushing the nasty agenda. But now you start to see it being pushed worldwide. Okay, especially as you know the scripture says in Jeremiah chapter 51 and 7, how Babylon, okay, which is America. Okay, spiritually, uh, it's um known for you know being that golden cup, and it's um and the scripture says how these other nations had drink of the wine, meaning the philosophies, the doctrines, and the lifestyle how America push. Okay, when it comes to this whole nasty agenda, okay, of the uh you know this whole situation with the Olympus over there in Paris, and those ceremonies. Okay, they opening it up with. A bunch of you know uh on 
trans, you know, transformers. Uh, can I not keep it like that, man? Okay, let's show you that this place is on the verge of being destroyed, and the Lord Yahweh Shai about to be on the on the second on the verge of his second coming, man. Okay, because these people are out of order. Okay, they are um, confused. They're abominable. Okay, and they pride. Okay, they prideful. Let's see. Okay, to the next one. And it says, sun blasts out most powerful flare of its current solar uh, cycle. Okay, so you know there's one of the signs as well in the uh, uh, heavens. Okay, okay, you have the you know the these the suns doing solar flares. Okay, you having blood moons, eclipse. Okay, solar eclipse. Okay, lunar eclipse. Okay, comets. Okay, being you know all asteroids being seen. Okay, okay, so this is more signs that Yahweh Bashimal Shah told us to look for in the last days of a second coming. Let's see. Um, uh, it says NATO member, the 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 light like Latunana, Latunana. Okay, I can't pronounce it, but the one of the the countries over there in NATO that's part of um their military. Okay, prepare a mass evacuation plan for Russian invasion. So that's the talk of war, man. Okay, you got the certain NATO members ready to go to war against Russia, okay, with this whole Ukraine situation, okay, and like I say, the Israel, Israel situation, okay, and Russia backing up a lot of these uh, military nations, okay, to come against America, aiding them, okay, such as, you know, China, Iran, uh, North Korea, okay, they're going to be other countries such as Libya, okay, as I may mention, on uh, uh, Turkey, Syria, join forces with them. To come against the West, okay, to come against NATO and America, okay, and it's gonna end bad eventually for America, man. And it says, um, the next one, Iowa National Guard undergo undergoing intense training in Minnesota. Hey, they're the coming of the, the time of martial law here in America or civil unrest, civil war. Okay, so they they're getting ready, man. Okay, you got the the the, the, the concentration camps, you got the FEMA camps, detention centers, okay? You got um, legislation ready to be put forth, okay, to issue in martial law when all hell break loose, okay? There was an article about a couple of months ago, about what, two months ago, I say, that, you know, over here in the U.S., they already have thousands of U.N. troops, man, okay, ready to be deployed, okay, in the time of martial law. Um, hey, going back into Turkey again, and it says, Turkey's Erdogan appears to issue open threat to invade Israel over war in Gaza. And I mentioned, okay, that Turkey is going to eventually break off from NATO and join forces with Russia, man, okay, to come against the West, okay. And you're going to have other certain members of NATO, okay, that's going to um, turn on turn on the, the NATO members and, um, and mainly the America, America man. Okay, because NATO, certain members of NATO, they're going to shoot their missiles here, okay, over here to America, too, to help destroy this place, man, right along with Russia, okay, and other uh, militaries or superpowers, okay, or powers that have the um, nuclear, nuclear capable ability, okay? So it's going to be a third world war, and America going to get the worst of it, man. And this place never going to be inhabited again by nations, okay? This place going to become a desert once the smoke, and the fire dies down, man. On the place, only things that's going to inherit this place, okay, inhabit this place is desert-like creatures, okay, not nations, not mankind anymore, man. Okay. Uh, hey, back into this madness, and it says Olympics, uh, organi organi organizers defend ceremony, making fun of the Last Supper, claim gold was achieved. Okay, and that was making mockery, man. Okay, here we know that Yahweh Bashimah Shah, the God of the Bible, okay, the power of Israel, is against this whole nasty agenda. Okay, but like I said, America, they endorse it. They, they uplift it. Now you got these other countries uplifting it. Now to the point that they had a ceremony, okay, with a whole bunch of uh, 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 um, nasty, okay, holding a, doing a, uh, uh, a reacting of the Last Supper, man. 
Okay, we know the Last Supper go into in the time of Yahweh Shai and the, 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 the 12 disciples. And, you know, eventually Judas Iscariot, okay, um, portrayed the Lord. And that night, it was time for the Lord Yahweh Shai to be persecuted and given over to the Romans, okay, to be crucified. Okay, when it comes to the Last Supper, okay, that, you know, the Passover that Yahweh Shai held with the 12. Okay, but, you know, once again, man, you know, these people here in these days and times, they make mockery of the Bible. And the, and the God of the Bible, okay, which is the God of Israel, man, okay. And so eventually, man, Yahweh Bashim al is going to bring that destruction, man, okay. Let me see. And yeah, that's it, okay, so far, because, you know, I'll read it, I'll leave it at that. You know, so we're in the time, now the Lord say, eventually, being occupied in prophecy. And that's what I'm going to start off with, man. Um, this is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39. Or the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse um, 1. And it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law and of the Most High is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. And that's what we're uh, doing. Us, that's uh, the hopeful elect that has me called. Okay, we're paying attention. We're measuring the times. Okay, being occupied in prophecy, man. Okay, and we're seeing what's going on, man. Let me get this. By the Lord, you know, showing signs of wars, pestilence, okay, uh, uh, natural disasters. Okay, you're seeing the, the morals of the people at an all-time low. The, okay, the wickedness of uh, 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 nations and individuals. Okay, murder. Okay, on, the, on senseless murders. Okay. Uh, let me get on 2nd Edge chapter 9. And that's all signs showing that we that close to Yahweh Shai's second coming and great destruction, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time digitally in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, then. Excuse me, Salaki, for that. And it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time digitally in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, Okay, because the word prophecy means to say before. Okay, before the Lord brings judgment, he always set up the prophets to speak it, to announce it. Okay, before it come to pass. Verse 2. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world he which he made. Okay, so the Lord visiting the world by bringing judgment. Okay, pestilence. Okay, plagues. Okay, famine. Okay, as it's going to continue on. And it said, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and earthquakes, Okay, hurricanes, tsunamis, floods, okay, wildfires, or says a severe cold weather, the coming of blackouts, okay. <clears throat> hey, you do not had a I forgot what country it is, okay, just had a swarm of dragonflies evade them. Okay. And it says, Therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, a civil unrest, okay, division, okay, seditious amongst men. Okay, and it says, okay, the protesting, okay, marching, okay, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. So the, the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai about to be manifest, and we know that through the the prophecies, man. Okay, the signs, man. Okay. Let me get on. Now I get ready to close. You know, I just wanted to go through, go, go through those, you know, headlines, you know, and bring out some scriptures. Okay, then that, you know, showing that what's going on in the world, current events, is in line with biblical prophecy. Okay, when it comes to the scriptures, to show you that we are in the time where you have a shot second coming, man. Let me get this. Matthew chapter 24, verse um, 1. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his, the disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall, be not, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And eventually that was going in the time of 70 AD, okay, when the Romans came and besieged. Jerusalem, okay, 
you know, going into the the the, the diaspora, the diaspora, no, the the, the the diaspora, okay, being the scattering of the, the uh, southern kingdom, okay, you know, <clears throat> and um, you know, that's what it's going into, okay, verse three, okay, but that could be for America too, cause once this place destroyed, ain't no buildings gonna be standing, man, nothing gonna be inhabited, okay, nothing's gonna stand, man, okay. Everything is going to be destroyed, man. Verse 3. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him probably saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Yeah, the time that we're in now. Okay, the end of the world, meaning the end of Esau Edom reign, his age, okay, of rulership. Okay, you can read about that in 2nd Edges chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning that follow. Okay, Jacob where gonna begin once Yahweh Shai return to bring destruction, war, and salvation to the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, that's gonna be the issue in of the kingdom, okay, of Yahweh Shai, which is the kingdom of Israel. Okay, and these heathen nations being put out of power, stomped with the Edomites, and the heathen nations going into captivity up under Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel. Okay, us, man. Okay. Verse 4, and Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Okay. So Yahweh Shah is going into what? All the things that look forward to at end time prophecy of his second coming. Okay. And it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. Okay, you got false prophets amongst Israel. Okay, false prophets amongst uh, these churches. Okay, or different sets of different religions. Okay, they're saying that how they the savior, their way, okay, or their doctrine is the way of, of life. Okay, so they're going to deceive many. Okay, especially when it comes to the two thirds of you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, verse six, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Okay, and we're starting to see that. We're starting to hear wars, rumors of wars. We're starting to see war. Okay, seeing that you not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, because when Yahweh Shah was spoken of in on um, uh, of these things, okay, these signs, it wasn't for the time back then. Okay. Now we're in that time. Okay. But nations shall rise up, rise against nations, and there go your division. Okay. Okay, your your civil wars, okay, your your race wars, your clash wars, okay? Kingdom against kingdom, okay, the coming of the third world war. Okay. Division. And there shall be famines. Okay, food shortages, okay, droughts, uh, uh, cattle, and, you know, certain, you know, when it comes to food, okay, not having access to it, okay, due to uh, um, orchestrated famine, rationing, okay, or uh, for just food shortages, man, okay, not having food available, okay, you know, the lack of bread, okay, the word famine means to hunger. And it says, and pestilence, okay, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places, okay? And it says, all, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're coming in that time, man, okay, that the Yahweh Bashim al bringing the great judgment to this place, man, okay? The time of sorrow. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll end it there. Yeah, I'll end it there through the Spirit. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. And I pray that it lets me edify. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.